Hello, and welcome back to creating a mobile app with React Native and AWS Amplified. In this lesson, we'll create a new React Native project, initialize AWS Amplify, add and configure authentication, and start and run an app in iPhone Simulator. Let's get started. First, we need to open our terminal. Once you have that open, we're going to be typing in the command npx react native init in the name of your project. In my case, it's homewad. This may take a while, so we'll be patient and wait. Next, we're going to cd into that directory. So cd into whatever you named your project. Mine is homewad. Now we're going to run amplify init. This will initialize the AWS amplify. So we're going to just hit the defaults here for the environment. It will be native. Choose your default editor. Mine is Visual Studio Code. Choose the type of app you're building, JavaScript for this. And then framework is React Native. And the rest of these are just default. Our path, our directory path, build commands, all of these will just go ahead and hit return. And now we're gonna let that finish. Now, do you wanna use an AWS profile? Yes, we do. Now you're going to choose the user you created in the lesson previous to this when we set up our AWS. Again, this may take a while, so we'll be patient. Okay, now Amplify is all set up. We're gonna go ahead and add authentication. To do that, we need to type the command Amplify Add Auth. And we're gonna choose default configuration. Uh, the other configurations are if you wanted to log in with Google or Apple, you can always come back later and add those for this tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and just choose default. Okay, we're gonna sign in. You can choose username. I'm gonna choose email because I want my emails to be unique per user. If you choose username, then a user can sign up for multiple usernames with the same email account. It's up to you. I'm choosing email for my app. Do you wanna configure advanced settings? No, we won't do that at this time but you can always come back and set up anything we need to in the advanced settings. Okay, that's done. Now we're gonna type amplify push. And this will walk us through some more configuration. Are you sure you wanna continue? We'll say yes. Now it's gonna update everything in the cloud for us. May take a few minutes. Okay, now that's done. Our resources are in the cloud. Our API is almost ready to be used. The next thing we need to do is install some dependencies in our project. To do that, we need to type a command called npm. It's a node package manager. And I just copy pasted these packages here, but I'll try to provide that also in the resources but we're installing AWS Amplify, AWS Amplify React Native for our components, Amazon Cognito Identity, JS, and React Native Community Net Info, and React Native Vector Icons for the icons. And then we'll do the dash dash save to save these packages to our package.json file. Let's go ahead and open our project with VS Code. I'm gonna type code space dot. Okay, and once you have that up to install code, go ahead and hold down your command shift in the P keys all at the same time. And go ahead and select the shell command install code command line. And that should install it for you. All right, one last step. We need to install those dependencies manually for React Native Vector icons in our iOS. So here in our project is an iOS directory. Open that. 
And then there's a home wad for me. Yours is going to be what your project name is, whatever you named it. Open that. And within that is a file called info.plist. Let's open this file. We'll scroll down and then we are going to add a few lines of code here for our React Native uh, vector icons. So to do that, I'm going to open my browser. And I'll make this URL available in the resources as well, but github.com. This is the link here. You can even just search for it in GitHub. So React Vector icons, we're going to scroll down to right here where it says iOS option manually. There is a list of available fonts to copy and paste into info.plist. So let's expand this guy. And we will just copy these few lines of code and then go back to our Visual Studio and then write before this line 56, after the false, make sure you put it in the correct place. We're going to paste those few lines. I'm going to tab mine over to clean it up. Uh, maybe all of these as well. Okay, go ahead and save that file. Once you have it saved, we're going to open terminal within Visual Studio Code. So in your Visual Studio Code menu, go to terminal new terminal and it'll open up a terminal for us here we're going to cd into ios now we're going to run pod install and that will install our package dependencies all right so that is good now i'm going to clear this now let's go back up to our home directory. So just CD, two dots, and now we're back in the home one. Now let's try to run our app and see where our app is. So to run the app, type React Native Run hyphen iOS and hit return. That should launch our simulator. There's mine. It's going to take a few minutes. It has to build the code. It should open up a terminal. Congratulations. We have a mobile app default running. So let's go ahead in the next lesson and add our authentication piece to this mobile app. See you in the next lesson.